Hello, Bumpy McSquiggums here, and it's time for the last Federation, my let's play thereof, and we're in episode 5. We're going to try to figure out what exactly it is we should be doing. It seems to be my statement each and every single time that we start this up, but in reality it is a statement that is true, and I need to actually learn how to do this game better. I have not had the time or the energy, well, I suppose I've had the energy, I, just, I really haven't had the time to dive too deeply into what this game has to offer outside of this playthrough. It seems like we've been trying to upset the Thoraxians and help everyone else as of late. I don't know that it's necessarily been great. We've been helping the Evix the most because they've been the ones that have been suffering the brunt of the Thoraxians assault. So I'm not sure what to do at this point. The Evix are, if I recall, fairly decent and, and overall just generally speaking they're um, decent combat, decent everything else. The Skylaxians are really good with the whole taking care of business type situation like they can go around and convince people to do what they want, all that other stuff, whereas the Bahrains, the, the Burlusts and the Thraxians are very warlike. Hmm. So at this point I'm not entirely sure. We're gonna go check here we can't destroy a pirate base because there is no pirate bases. We could give them some more technology, provide them with the medical assistance, assist with armada construction. I mean, there's a few things that we can do. They're not happy with us, but they're not, like, hating us to death. So if we help them, they'll hate us. I wonder, maybe we just focus on the Skylaxians for a bit. Let's go there. Let's see what we can do with the uh, Skylaxians. We don't have a ton of money, so it's kind of unfortunate. We can learn some technology with them, and that may be a good idea. So let's do that. What do they have to offer? Lab grown meat, why not? We'll do that. So while that's happening, Try to take a look at what's going on. And it seems like they're assaulting the Evix again. We have months left. Hopefully the Evix can hold out. They look like they're having an issue. Come on, boys. Alright, well, they're still alive, or so it seems. Okay, so we got a copy of it for ourselves. And let's take a look. Tech research with the Skylaxians. Yep, we know that one. The Thraxians have researched normal scientific efforts, nano metallurgy, that can't be good, and new hydro signal. You have detected a signal that does not match the technology of any living race, but it does match yours. If you search from a planet or outpost in the ice belt, you may be able to find additional hydro technology for your flagship. Huh. So, what does that mean? Let's see here. Maybe it's something from this? On the ice belt. I don't know what the ice belt is. Will it tell me? Let's see. Population. Uh, planetary budget, sources and trades, I don't, hmm, location details maybe? Location type, and dense and turbulent. Huh. Well, we might, oops, we might end up having to look at a few different things here, guys, I apologize. Uh, transition desert? Hmm. Planet details, terrestrial, uh, ice dwarf, oh, okay, so it would be over here, and does that mean we can do, we can help defend against, oh, okay, so we're going to do this first, we're going to take action, we're going to help them, I should have known this. There's only one flagship remaining. It shouldn't be that big of an issue. 
what weapon's going to do the most work with it. It looks like it's going to be our minigun. So we will highlight that and showcase it and just go in and murder him. Simply because we can. We go through his shield pretty quickly. I dare say in the next turn or so. Get through his shield. Our shield should still hold up. Let's see. Yeah, shield will be down now, and then we'll finish him off in the next turn, and say goodbye, sir. Stop invading other people's plan. Oh, wow, he's still alive. That's mildly impressive. This gravity lance would be the number one weapon, so you would assume maybe I didn't hit him fully with it, because I did kind of retreat a little bit from where he was. Alright, well we did that, we helped him, and now we're going to help ourselves to this. Ooh, two new special abilities, I like that. Alright, what do we have to do with a dock with all hydro technology labs? And that is a hydro technology lab. These are wandering sentinels, that can't be good. There's a lot of them too. Alright, well I'm going to move forward. And I think what I'm going to do at this point is maybe I'll move a little bit more forward before I do anything else. And now we're going to dispatch these guys. Followed up with these boys. And then what are we going to do? What do these things have? Looks like our minigun is going to be our best weapon. We're going to switch to the minigun and we'll focus. Some interesting things here. What is this? <laughs> An absolutely terrifying monstrosity of a weapon that aggressively pursues the enemy, absolutely bristling with weapons that can cause weak willed enemy pilots to flee battle in terror, cannot control it directly. Alright, so we need to get through its shield. Its shield is... it doesn't say... It has a shield, so I guess it doesn't have one. I'm not sure why the minigun would be the, the best choice, but okay. Alright, looks like we've destroyed one of them. And we're just going to continue to roam around and try to take them out. Seems like the best of uh, ideas for us. We very nearly defeated all of them. In all honesty, I mean, not much left to do than just clear these guys out and then swoop in, take whatever they've left behind. Apparently some Acution pilots. And at this point, we just get to go up and maybe deal with uh, these things. Avoid some of these rockets that are coming our way. So I'm pretty sure those will still hurt us. And then once those are down, we can continue on. There's still three labs though. I don't know, what do we have? Um, we have eject garbage. Seems like a pretty good idea. Let's put that on the auto shoot. Are all three of them just like on top of one another? It's looking like it. Well, that should make this pretty easy. Also slightly confusing, but mostly pretty easy. Huh. Well, I guess we docked with all three at once. Well, that's mildly impressive. Maybe they were all connected? I don't know. But it looks like we did this. I don't see what we gained. Hmm. Maybe it'll tell us now? No, it didn't say anything. We have two new special abilities, but I, I honestly don't know how to actually do anything. Computer advisor. Top three suggested allies that are not already in the Federation are the Thraxians, the Cusians, and the Burlusts. Hmm. And the Thraxian, Burlusts, and 
Peltians are the actual strongest powers outside the Federation right now. With their effective armada. Wow. The Peltians. What? Uh, military science or military and science technology you are behind on. Right now we are ahead of all races technologically, so that's a good sign. Um I don't know how to address my own ship and change the loadout. That's one of the things that I want to keep looking up, and I don't think I ever actually do. But we'll chill here with the uh, with the Evics for now. Um, what are they having issues with? They're downtrending on medical, so we'll give them a hand with medical. We don't have a lot of money to help with, but... We can provide some medical assistance. We shall do that only briefly, though. Just enough to... Oops. Just enough to get them over the, the downtrend. And now they are... <sighs> they're mediocre, so it's not so bad. Okay, it still may downtrend a little bit, but in theory, it'll still be okay. Um... Anything else pop up? It doesn't look like it, so maybe we'll research with them. And let's see here. We'll do a cooperative research with them. And it looks like orbital bombs might actually help us, though I'm not entirely sure. We'll, we'll do it anyway. We'll take the action. We'll spend a little over a year here helping them out. Looks like there's quite a bit of stuff going on. Boost outpost and building construction. Alright, very nice. And there's still a little bit left on that front. Are the Acutians trying to raid? Is that what they're doing? It looks like it. Alright, well we're going to help them deal with the enemy armadas and then it should be fine. There we go. We are now approved, so they would definitely join us. Well, I'm pretty certain they would. We're going to help them defend against their uh, deal. And it looks like there's three enemy flagships remaining. We know the score. We know we need to use our minigun to deal with them, and we shall do so. It is going to be, well, sweet, sweet, nice, for lack of a better term. We're going to send out these fellows to deal with anything and everything in our path. Want to say that he should be dead pretty soon here. Our shield is holding out. We'll get a little closer in. And the shield should be down. And we're already doing sweet. We're already starting to do the ballistics uh, damage to his hull. So we have one more little bout. There we go. And we need to eliminate his shield before we can continue on. And we are nearly done with that. I'd say two more turns, that's done. And then by two turns to deal with the rest. And we'll go here and said good day, sir. And oh, looks like they actually dealt with their own armada on this side. Nice. Very nice. Alright, so we only had to kill two. The other one was murdered by the uh, local forces. Well, that makes things a little bit easier, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Alright, I'm not sure what the Acutian's issue is right now, so we'll see. I think I still have... We can build the, uh, or boost the outpost and building construction. I like it. So we're going to take the action, and they now have 104 approval rating with us, so we're going to try to get some of the other folks to like us as well. Right now, it looks like our closest two allies will be the the uh, Peltians and the Boranes. Everything else is kind of meh at this point. The Thoraxians really are not big fans of us. So we're going to go with the Burlusts and see if we can figure out what we can do with them to give them a hand. Um, well, we can mine an uncolonized moon, I suppose. We'll get ourselves some, well, some uranium. Why not? Uranium is always, always a good thing. Do that for a little bit. A lot of ships are going back and forth. I don't think anything terrible is happening, but 
we really have to build up relations with uh, the rest of the folks. All right, so we're gonna go over here now. Yeah, that's fine. Um, we have a little bit of influence with them, not much, but they paid us, so that's always good. Uh, race relations. Who are the Acutians and the Evix are not super thrilled with one another. So we are going to, huh? Yeah, the locals are having trouble with smugglers and their populace. Okay, well, that's interesting. Well, let's help. Uh, let's help them uh, destroy this. Destroy all smuggler freighters. Well, there's only one, so this shouldn't be too challenging. And it looks like the minigun is going to be our first weapon of choice, and should be pretty simplistic unless it can outrun us somehow, but I don't see that happening. It's definitely not going to be able to burn through our shield, so I assume. Actually, it's doing pretty good work against our shield. I'm a little bit, uh, kind of surprised by this. There we go, though. It actually burned through our shield quite nicely. I was wrong. Alright, well, the public order of them are absolutely terrible right now. Oh my, the economic, uh, the economy of these folks are just abominable. Wow, I've never seen anybody in this bad of state. Alright, so, um, we have to aid the local economy. This is going to be pretty depressing because it's going to cost us a lot of our money. Well, we're just gonna sit here and see if we can bring him down under a hundred. There we go. All right. Well, we're gonna end that. And we didn't get we got a little bit of meh from them because I guess there's an issue. They liked us overall. Their uh, <laughs> economic problems now are only nightmarish as opposed to where they were before, which is kind of rough. Here we go, improve relations with the other races. Alright, so let's get them and the Evix to stop hating one another. We'll take some action there. I don't know how long that's gonna help. Improve relations, uh, the Acutians like us. The attitude toward the Evix, neutral to neutral. We gain plus two. I move from aloof to aloof. Eh, it's not too bad. Did I run out of money? Oh, that's what happened. I ran out of money, so I need to do something. Destroy some sky probes, or spy probes. Now, this is difficult. This is the one where I think they can just outrun me without any issue whatsoever. And I gotta say, it's pretty disappointing. It's got a lot of hull to get through. So, basically, what I'm going to do is try to hold the fire, hold my fire until I get close enough to actually deal with it. And then I'm just gonna drop the bomb diggity on him. Nope, see he's already on his way out. He's like, forget this noise. This is not happening, buddy. I Unfortunately, I can't unle unleash anything on him either. So the real downside is I'm not gonna be able to catch him to actually kill him. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop a lot of, out of, a lot of the stuff out of shield and a little bit of out of our weapons. And we're going to try and keep up with him, but I don't think we're going to be able to. See how fast he is? There's literally no way for us to catch him. I mean, if we're lucky, we can catch him briefly, but he's going to outrun our bullets every time. So there's no way to actually catch him. So I don't I don't know what the, the strategy was with this thing. Hmm. I really don't. I have no idea, so I think I'm just going to have to abandon this mission, and I don't remember how to do that. Hmm. Pre click or press Q to stay put. Hmm. Well, we need to leave because there's, like, like I said, there's literally no reason, auto-resolve, Accept the results of auto resolve. Let's see. And results. Victory, huh? Okay, well, I guess I'll have to accept the results. I can't kill that thing. I've never been able to kill a spy drone ever, and it's it's pretty depressing. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. 
Alright, so we built them up to 45. They're down to 99. It's not that big of an issue. Let's see if we can actually go back to the brain. They seem to be downtrending on medical still. But unfortunately, we can't quite help them with that. We're going to try to get a space outpost with them. It's going to be cooperative. But we can't do that because... It requires 300,000 Xeno time, but the planet only has... 13,795. Okay, well that's interesting. So let's uh, maybe do some cooperative uh, dealy, huh? Some digital science for 11 months. What? Alright, we're gonna fast forward this. Let's see if there's any kind of uh, problematic problems here. Oh, boost to scientific research. Alright, well, we still have a few more months to go. And it looks like we're getting something going on here. We'll wait until this is done. Let's see what all the stuff is that's popping up over here on the right hand side. And it is finished now. Alright. So the burlesque like us a little bit more, didn't help us too, too much, but we ended up getting a copy of the thing for ourselves, which isn't terrible. Tech has been researched with the burlesques. Okay. Uh, tech learned via raw resource expenditure. Okay. Advanced subatomic theory has been discovered by the race by spending a lot of resources on it. It's not too, too bad. Not too, too bad. Doesn't usually happen, but eh, it is what it is, so we're going to get rid of that. Uh, tech discovered in Breakthrough, Thraxian's Thicker Carapace, oh, that's not very good. Uh, in Breakthrough, the Propeltian's Ground Shock Bombs. Okay, uh, Skylaxian's Faster Satellite Communications have been researched through the normal scientific, scientific efforts. Okay. And pulling your research, or your resources, both you and this race have learned low drag casings. Interesting. So somehow I learned stuff with the Evix even though I wasn't there. Well, I don't hate that. I don't hate that at all. Let's go up here. Oop, wrong button. Let's go up here. Click on them. Let's see. We'll do some... Eh, we could do some more cooperative research if we had to. What we're going to do is help research a vaccine. Okay, well we can't do that because we don't know of any vaccine or any diseases. Uh, we can improve relations with another race, but we don't have the credits to do that. So this is the first time I've really run into credit issue. Normally there's pirates and things you can kill and you can get a lot of credits from doing that, but this is like, just like a death grip on me. I, I'm just not getting monies. It's quite unfortunate. You know what, let's see if we can do something nasty to the Thoraxians. Smuggle and resistance fighter. We can try to assassinate the Hive Queen, but that costs a lot of money that we don't have. All of these cost a lot of money. Uh, we can gain. We can gain credits. We'll take action. We'll go up against their armadas, and then we'll. Oh man, there's a lot of them. And we can probably break the episode off after that. Right. Let's send these out. Then I think it's going to be a good idea to rebalance ourselves here. And send ourselves that way with maybe targeting this ship here. All I do is destroy the eight flagships that are remaining. Shouldn't be too big of an issue, right? Just eight flagships. Our shield is definitely going by the wayside here. It's quite unfortunate. Alright. A little bit more and I'll get to the shield. And it looks like we're doing hull damage now, which is fantastic. And then I might have to pace myself or distance myself from some of this combat because it's getting a little bit nastier than I particularly care for. So this thing will get murdered by the minigun, so let's focus that. 
All right, we need to cloak ourselves. Maybe get away a little bit, hold our fire. Let our shields build back up. And then we can go back in and do some more damage. All right, so our cloaking is back from being gone, I suppose. Okay, so we've used those up, which is fine. Alright, so we're going to go back in, we're going to switch back over to this, and we're going to have ourselves a new targeted ship. There's only five flight ships remaining, which isn't too bad, all things considered. We're going to try very, very hard to deal with that, and we're going to deal with this thing next as well. I think that killing this off is actually going to be pretty beneficial to us. I'm going to try to murder all of these things that are just floating around. It's resistant to ballistic weapons, so it's not that big of an issue. Alright, well, if we can deal with that, that would be pretty sweet. Once that's down, we'll deal with this guy on the front lines. And our shield is still holding pretty nicely. And then we get to deal with him next. Down to four remaining. I think we've got this, boys. I think we've got it. Oh, he sent out some seriously dark Juju Magumbo to deal with us. It's okay. And what are we going to do at this point? We're going to eject some garbage. What? We're going to move over here. He has no shield. We'll get our gravity lance going. And we'll have him dealt with really quickly. Then we will turn up this way. We'll pull out this. And murder him. Straight up, straight out. Drop him. As soon as he's down, we'll focus on this fellow. Three flagships remaining. We'll have to try to avoid walking into any gunfire if we can. And there's always going to be a little bit of overlap. So let's see if we can actually finish him off before anything else terrible happens. Looks like we're getting pretty darn close to being able to actually drop him completely. There we are. Our shield is hurting a little bit. We're going to go into cloak mode again. Actually, that might have been my shield boost thing. No, that was a cloaking field. The shield boost is, is this one. It's okay. I apologize guys, my dog keeps going in and out, in and out, in and out. It's getting really ridiculously annoying and obnoxiously loud to have her crawling in and out of the room repeatedly. So if you hear me mute every once in a while, that will be why. Alright, our shield is recovered mostly, so now we're going to go for the, the whole hog, as they say. We're going for the kill. Straight for the jugular. And if we're fortunate enough to do it, we will. Uh, I think I'm going to do this. Check some garbage. He is shieldless, so our gravity lance should be able to do quick work on him. I'm a little disappointed that he's still surviving. There we go. He's done now. And finally, the uh, last of the flagships that remain will be dealt with in a rather rapid fashion, in theory, here. Hopefully our shield holds out long enough to deal with this guy. It's not the greatest combat ever here. In fact, we're going to have to do another garbage dump, it looks like. And then maybe just retreat. So our shields come back. I don't know. Can't quite cloak yet, so that's... One of those things, you know. 
All right, our shield is coming back. We'll be able to cloak again in about seven seconds. All right, we're dealing with things as they progress. I, oh, I just still managed to dodge it. That's not so bad. Murdering things as we go. More and more fighters are falling. Our shields are back nearly to full, and we managed to drop him too. So that was a little close. We got a little low on our health here. Our shield's not super great, but we managed to get through it, and I like that a whole heck of a lot. So let's end that combat, and with this, we can end the episode as well. So we've pestered the Thraxians a bit. We've helped a few other folks. Uh, the Evix apparently love us at this point. They're probably pretty close to being ready to join our Federation. If and when we're able to actually start it, we need to get a few other folks on board, though. Looks like the Raxians are going to be our big bad evil doers, so... We'll have to focus on dealing with them in a relatively eh, decent fashion soon. But, that's going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys next time with more of The Last Federation. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.